In this video, we'll take you through the steps to set up email authentication for your email servers. Setting up email authentication helps prevent messages your organization sends from being flagged as spam. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to set up SPF and DKIM for your organization. We'll also give you an overview of DMARC, an additional layer of email authentication security that you can set up for your domain. Before setting up your SPF or DKIM records, you can check and see if they've already been set up for your domain. You can perform this check by going to the Check MX page of your Google Admin Toolbox. Enter your domain name and click Run Checks to see the current status of your SPF and DKIM records and if they've already been set up. After completing the checks, you will get a summary with flags showing if mail flow is 1 working smoothly and no action is needed, two, working but indicating issues that need to be addressed, or three, needs to be set up. If your SPF or DKIM records are not currently set up, you can do it using our step-by-step -step guide in the Google Workspace Help Center. Although Google provides a default DKIM configuration for your domain, for best security, we recommend that you create your own DKIM key. We'll talk about how to do that later in this video. Now that you know the basics and check to see if SPF and DKIM are already set up, if you still need help, we'll take you through the setup steps. The first step to setting up your SPF is to create your TXT record. A TXT record defines the mail servers that are allowed to send mail for your domain. A single domain can have only one TXT record for SPF. However, the SPF TXT record for a domain can specify multiple servers and domains that are allowed to send mail for the domain. If all email from your organization is sent from Google Workspace, use this line of text for your TXT record. V equals SPF1, include colon, underscore, spf.google.com, tilde all. If you send mail in other ways in addition to Google Workspace, you must create a custom TXT record for SPF. The Google Workspace Help Center has more details about how to format TXT record contents depending on how email is sent from your organization. After you create your TXT record, you can enable SPF for your domain by adding your TXT record for SPF at your domain provider. To add your TXT record for SPF, you need to sign into the Management Console for your domain host. Don't worry if you don't know your domain host. In the Google Workspace Help Center, you can search for instructions on how to find your domain host online. After you sign into the Management Console for your domain host, find the page where you can update TXT records for your domain. Here you can add the standard TXT record for Gmail servers we showed you earlier, or a custom TXT record you created for your mail servers. Your SPF is now set up. It's also important to note that you should update your TXT record for SPF at your domain provider if you add new mail servers to your organization or start using new third-party senders. Now that you know how to set up SPF, the next video will show you how to set up DKIM. The first step to setting up your DKIM is to generate a DKIM key for your domain. Google recommends that you use your own DKIM key on all outgoing messages. However, if you don't generate your own DKIM domain key, Gmail signs all outgoing messages with a default DKIM domain key for messages sent from mail.google.com servers. It's important to note that after you create your Google Workspace account and turn on Gmail, you must wait 24 to 72 hours before you can generate a DKIM key. To generate this domain key, you need to sign into your Google Admin Console and go to the Gmail Settings page. At the Gmail Settings page, click Authenticate Email. From the menu, select the domain where you'll be using DKIM and then click the Generate New Record button. Next, you will be asked to select the DKIM key bit length. The longer option, 2048 bit keys, is more secure and recommended if your domain host will support it. Otherwise, you can select the 1024 bit key option. 
you're also asked for your prefix selector. Domain keys include a text string called the prefix selector, which you can modify when you generate the key. The default prefix selector for the Gmail domain key is Google. You should change this prefix only if your domain already uses a DKIM key with the prefix selector Google. After selecting your bit key length and prefix selector, click Generate to receive a DKIM key for your domain. The next step is to add your new DKIM domain key to your domain DNS or domain name system record at your domain host. You'll need to be signed into the dashboard for your domain host. On the dashboard for your domain host, locate the page where you can update DNS records. Add the new TXT record with the DKIM domain key you just generated and save your changes. It can take up to 48 hours for email authentication to begin. Until then, your Google Admin Console will continue to show a message about updating the DNS records for this domain. The final step to setting up your DKIM, after you've generated your domain key and added the key to your domain record, is to turn on DKIM signing. You must be signed into your Google Admin Console to turn on DKIM signing. From the Admin Console homepage, click Apps, Google Workspace, and finally, Gmail. On the Gmail settings page, click Authenticate Email. Select the domain where you want to start email signing and then click the Start Authentication button. Remember, it can take up to 48 hours for email authentication to begin. While not required to send mail successfully, we recommend you set up DMARC to further protect your email accounts from spam, spoofing, and phishing. DMARC, or Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance, helps you manage messages that are checked by SPF and DKIM. When a message doesn't pass SPF or DKIM, DMARC lets you decide what happens to the message next. You can deliver it normally, reject the message, or send it to spam. The daily reports you get with DMARC help you identify any potential issues with your email, like suspicious messages or issues with authentication. We've tried to make setting up DMARC as easy as possible, but some steps can be complex. We'll help you through each step when you follow the instructions in the Google Workspace Help Center. SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are all standards that solve different pieces of the email authentication puzzle by strengthening the security of your domain and the reliability of your email delivery. For more information on setting up your SPF, DKIM, and DMARC, please visit the Help Prevent Spoofing, Phishing, and Spam topic in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center.